Ruth Ann Kosun, a principal dancer in American ballet theatre who epitomized the company's early eclectic profile by excelling in roles that ranged from Billy the Kid's Mexican sweetheart to the bluebird pas de deux from The Sleeping Beauty, died on February 1 in Chicago. She was 89. Her death was confirmed by her goddaughter, Ellen Collin. Because of her lyrical style in ballets like Les Sylphides, Ms. Kosun was often cast as a romantic ballerina. But she could also show dramatic ferocity, as the evil anti heroine aid in Antony Tudor's Undertow, which depicts the development of a young murderer. Contemporary ballet makers favored her. In 1950, Herbert Ross, a new choreographer and future film director, cast her in his Caprichos, based on Goya's etchings. She portrayed a dead woman who is tossed around by her partner in choreographed movements that suggested she was inert. She found her signature role in ballet theater's revivals of Eugene Loring's Billy the Kid, from 1938. A brilliantly stylized experimental work that used occasional speech, the ballet had a biographical plotline by Lincoln Kirstein, who would become a founder of New York City Ballet, and a double role for Ms. Kosun, who portrayed both the sweetheart and the mother of the outlaw Billy. Her mix of hidden virtuosity and tender emotion complemented the power of John Kreisa, her frequent ballet partner, as Billy. Both performed the ballet with the company before President John F. Kennedy and the First Lady, Jacqueline Kennedy, at the White House on May 22, 1962. Ruth Ann Kosun was born on May 15, 1928, in Chicago to Dr. Paul Z. Kosun, a prominent Chinese physician in Chicago's Chinatown, and the former Mary Monjulik who was of Russian descent. She met Mr. Kryza, later a ballet theater star, while studying at the Chicago Ballet School directed by Bentley Stone and Walter Cameron and performed with him. In nightclubs and summer stock. Ms. Kosun joined the company in 1946 while it was appearing in London and advanced quickly to principal dancer. She retired from ballet theatre in 1969. Her marriage to Eric Braun, a principal dancer with the troupe, ended in divorce after eight years. Ms. Kosun, who lived in Chicago, leaves no immediate survivors. Her first years in the company were auspicious. The cover of the November 3, 1947, issue of Life magazine consisted of a double portrait of two young ballet theater dancers, Ms. Kosun and Melissa Hayden. Rarely had a novice received such rave reviews as those that greeted Ms. Kosun in May of that year for her role in ballet theaters on stage. Michael Kidd, the future Broadway and Hollywood choreographer, had cast her as a very young dancer suffering from stage fright at a rehearsal it was little Ruth Ann Kosun who captured all hearts last night, the critic John Martin wrote in the New York Times. He praised her lovely line and immeasurable charm. Walter Terry, the dance critic for the New York Herald Tribune, wrote later that year that Ms. Kosun's progress has been so rapid and hailed her highly individual quality of movement, shy but not weak, delicate but assured. She had a unique style, Richard Cavello, an arts writer in Chicago who followed Ms. Kosun's career closely, said in a telephone interview, noting her hidden technical strengths. She was a strong dancer locked in the dainty, he said. In 1951, Mr. Martin wrote of her exquisite dancing in the Bluebird Pas de Deux with the French guest star Jean Bobili, adding that he wondered why a dancer of these potentialities does not always exhibit them. Over the years, Ms. Kosun's other partners included Eric Brun, and her repertoire included Mr. Tudor's Dim Luster, David Leachine's Graduation Ball. Bronislava Nijinska's La Fille Malgardie, 
Frederick Ashton's Les Patineurs and new works as well, among them Mr. Babili's Till You Lens Be Gel. She performed often in Jerome Robbins's early ballets, including Fancy Free and Interplay. Mr. Cavello said that she was the only dancer to perform each of the three female roles in Fancy Free. This was in part thanks to a fluke. The ballet ends with three sailors chasing a young woman who appears very briefly on stage after the two main women in the ballet have left. In previous performances, Ms. Kosun had danced each of the two main female roles. On this occasion, she was in the wings when the third woman was late and did not appear so, Mr. Cavello said, Ruth Ann went back on stage and did the part.